Today we have an incredibly special Closet Confessions because I am joined by the woman who across the pond I feel we were two daughters of the same mother, which is the indomitable Carla Rockmore. She has had an incredible passion for fashion and over lockdown, she decided to start her own YouTube channel and TikTok. Let's do that. Try and do this at 55. From the lingerie department to almost famous. There's really nothing better than a clean white shirt. I mean, the layers of the same colors and the shock of blue, delicious. We're gonna go through our guilty secrets in our closet. So welcome Carla. I am beyond excited across the pond extravaganza. I'm so excited. Everyone will immediately want to know where's the top from and where's the bottom from. The top is another tomorrow and I'm doing a little Isadora Duncan moment the whole time. The bottoms are Valentino I picked up in the sale. So they're slightly too small in the buttocks area. But what she's done is she's made sure to always have some Something covering the posterior. Some coverage. You and I are really like, I don't know how often, whenever I choose an outfit that I'm thinking of that layering coverage. I mean, at the end of the day, you've got to work with what you have. And I mean, they were so fabulous. You know what it is more with that, Carla? It's because you've, it's that thing of taking an element of the top color into the flow of the bottom. And I think that's why, you know, we do that half tuck for that flow. There's a few of them that I just kind of play around with. And for the most part, I use my clothing as a canvas for my baubles. It's a good canvas. Jewelry is the centerpiece for yeah. me. That's really interesting you say that actually, because you always do have a focus of that. And I, I, it's like sometimes for me, it's the makeup and then I'll do an outfit that will really enhance that or do it the other way around. But it's interesting you always go with the jewelry. I think you have to start with a focus. That's the most important thing is start with one highlight or else you end up looking like a Christmas tree. Like you've got to choose one thing that is the centerpiece and then build around it. But Carla, I've seen you dress and you might do two or three magnificent things going on in your body, but it's also the balance too, because I've seen you with, you start with a basic stuff and then you go a bracelet, a bracelet, and let's put on a necklace and then look at this bag. And it's like, you're just like, we're never, we're never Coco Chanel, which is to see yourself dress and take one thing off. No, 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 absolutely. This is my minimalism. <laughs> I'd say this is my everyday dress. I mean, we are those people. But let's get on to seeing some pieces and things. So Jemima, I think you should ask us some questions now, which will sh let Carla show some of her wardrobe. Okay, we would love to know, what is your most versatile statement piece? My vers most versatile statement piece is this emerald, because it's my favorite color, Del Pozo Lurex blouse, that I can wear under suiting, inside skirting, inside pants, and it has this beautiful lurex sheen, so it always lights up my face. It lights up your face, that is key, and also your coloring is more towards warm. There are so many colors that I cannot wear that you can wear, like you pull out these beautiful lilacs and pale greens, and I'm like, yeah. stunning, I'm Trini. You can wear red, I can't really. You can wear beige, I can't really. You can wear all weird little greens, I can't really. You can wear chocolate brown, I can't really. So if we just see colors we would like to be able to wear that we can't, as opposed to all the colors we can. My favorite piece color is the Dries Van Noten, because I wear this sleeveless with jeans. I will wear, I mean, I haven't done this yet, but I'm thinking I might even, as time progresses, you know, literally put this on over my vampire's wife. In a way, I would say this sounds weird, Carla, but to dress it down. No, 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 I totally get it. Firstly, I've been chasing that piece since it came out, <laughs> that's the first thing. <laughs> this is for me, I can wear it as a overshirt, I can wear it underneath something, I can layer it and it lifts like that green for you. It really, days I feel tired and whoop, this will lift me. I see that dress over a shirt dress. Like why not do it over a crisp white shirt dress? Because I don't wear shirt dresses. You don't wear shirt I dresses? I mean, I wear shirt dresses, but not your kind because you have amazing ankles. And that's reflected also, I think, Carla, by your choice of shoes, which I do want to go on to relatively soon because that's where we are sort of catechisms apart. That's my shoes, literally, Carla, all right? First of all, I have one Gucci ankle and I have one Walmart ankle. Sorry, you have a Gucci ankle and a Walmart ankle. <laughs> Explain to me. I have noticed that as I age, 
different things are happening to the feet. It's that readjustment, you know, so if you're at this phase where you're thinking, shoes were such a key component, can we look at your shoes first? Because we need to see that collection, it's so incredible. This is gonna be a treat. Okay, so absolutely what I have bought a few of, and I'm still wearing, are my baby pumps in a multitude of different colors. You can know that she has multiples of every one of these. <laughs> this is a fabulous little Jill Sander that the structure of the heel is just breathtaking. And I'll do this with a black tent dress. I try not to pair blacks with anything but neutrals like grays and whites. Yeah, I agree with that. But let's say it's raining and we don't want to ruin the fantastic jersey on the sides. Then I go into my Zara booty. So I've got my extra. Would you do an indoor outdoor shoe? I mean, would you go to an event with the boot on and then have in your handbag the other shoe? If it would fit, that's a very good idea. Absolutely. Now, I might do a smaller one, like this one here. I mean, look at this baby. That's so beautiful. Go right, around. except look what's inside her. Blistex stick. Why? Oh my God. Because I torture myself with these damn shoes. <laughs> yeah, I, that's the thing. It's really sort of no pain, no gain in these, which are your most comfortable shoe, Carla, that you can literally run a marathon in, but are high. Most comfortable shoe of which I have four is the Gabriella Hearst Harrigan. It is lightweight. It just, it, it's just fantastic. And it works with everything. It also looks fun. I love the color. I like the fact it's not delicate. It's a bit platformy. It's beautiful. What about your Rick Owens boots? At the end of the day, a good platform is something that will ground. It will ground your pants. It will ground your dresses. It will continue the triangular line. I tend to lean towards the triangular shape when I dress because I have no boobs. I'm very tiny on top. And as I go down the way, I get heavier. So I like the idea of going really low at the bottom to balance it all out. For me, my, my, my shoe that I will probably do a multiple of Carla is my wedge from Robert Clergery. This, I feel, till we're 80 will be wearable. That triangulation you talk about is really interesting. Mine is, is slightly different probably because I'm fully into menopause and that made my boobs get a bit bigger. I've been fully into menopause for about seven years now. I'm still waiting for my boobs. We have different menopause journeys, but I, anyway, I think for me, I like to broaden my shoulders to make my waist look smaller and then I will have the weight compensating and the breadth of the shoulder with the heaviness of the shoe. So I have that, want to have that sort of top to bottom heaviness and then going in at the waist sometimes. It's all about balance. I mean, at the end of the, if I'm going triangular, I have to have a big piece, something around my neck to balance that weight at the bottom. Okay, let's go on to some more questions from Jemima. Okay, what is your best high street purchase? Oh, yes. Gosh, I gotta push this back because I gotta show you. <laughs> Carla, I challenge you to have an outfit, top and bottom and jewelry, which is under 50 pounds, which is $70. <laughs> Who's gonna win? <laughs> See what you can do, Carla. Your dress looks very expensive and fabulous. So tell us the details. It is Zara. I'd say, well, let's see, shall I, shall I? I got it when I was 25. What's it made of? It's a poly chiffon, and I've done it with my, with my metallic Steve Madden cowboy boots, and I'm not a cowboy boot girl at all, except for the fact that they are apple green metallic. Oh my God, I love the boots so much! And I can run a marathon. How much were they? Okay, so it went over that 100 pound. <laughs> I think they were a hundred dollars. Oh, that's so good. And you know what's really good with the blue? If I do a deep navy blue, which is my black dress with these, whoo! I'm in my Zara jean, which I adore, 29 pounds. Little neon, which I got from H&M for 5 99 And the t-shirt, so that feeling, even though these are a bit big for me now, but that triangulation of going in and then going out. And, and the neon at, at the neck is essential. Essential. Sorry for rudely interrupting you with my outfit. Let's move swiftly on to what you were going to talk about next, your latest inspiration or obsession. Well, it, I, it, it was a serious splurge and one does go there on occasion. But this, I mean, it still has the tags on it because I'm still feeling guilty. 
But this yeah. Molly Goddard coat. Molly Goddard is something else. That is, beautiful. that is so beautiful. What I, why I brought this up is because it's a fine nylon. It's not heavy. I'm yeah. going to belt it. Oh yes, but you can, and you won't look bulky at the waist. It will be divine. Especially with a corset belt. And then I do these at the bottom. But I'm going to show you my sneaky Saturday purchase. Let's see. A little Comte de Garçon. Oh, that is stunning. The tailoring on it and the color. Should we put on though a mutual obsession that we bought, which is our sports max moment absolutely i can put it over this that's why it's so fabulous so fabulous i've been challenging myself to see what it doesn't work with and it works with my my sports stuff it is amazing and i think for those people carla because this is not a cheap sequin jacket so for those people watching on a budget asos zara river island in america okay. what i do is i purchase the high street first to see if i really like it <laughs> My little trick is Etsy Vintage because I can find the exact same things going down the runway for a yeah. lot less. But you're saying it was a one-off. Yes, yes, yes. And you have to watch that when you're purchasing because it, it'll say in the listing. That's my new obsession for October. But I want to say I had for years, Carla, a lot of high street sequin jackets from ASOS. So I knew how important it was in my wardrobe because I am kind of known as the sequin queen, if anything. This was my kind of moment of, should I now invest in something? And therefore, how has it got to be different from my high street one? So they all had short arms. So I know you're shorter than me, but for me, high street doesn't do long sequin arms. So this is a really long arm, which on you, I love how long it is. And I battled a little bit with this and I thought, no, it's gotta be schlumpy. It's gotta be just hanging down. Yeah. And, and also what's interesting is the length, because on you, it is much longer. I saw you wear it when you were on that boat. And I thought, is that the same jacket? Because it was nearly to your knee. Yeah. Whereas this is literally mid thigh for me. So it sort of is a slightly different jacket in how it fits. And I actually wish I'd got a size small and not the extra small, because I like it how oversized it is on you. It has to be big. I think also just the last merit, Carla, of a sequin jacket is just to wear it as that kind of jacket as a piece of jewelry. If you're going through the hot flushing of menopause, you don't have the sweaty underarm pity moment because there isn't too much fabric there, but equally it feels more glamorous. It's a cape. I probably wear 90% of my jackets this way, Carla. All right, darling, let's move on to our final mutual piece which is our little uh, Prada yellow coat. So this is a piece of mesh that I found in Paris in a vintage shop, and I've been throwing it over everything, and it gives me a little bit of glitter. Do you see that? Just a little bit. And also it gives a tiny bit of a different structure to whatever you're putting it on. Exactly. So I've got my simple white shirt dress underneath, but because I've got this little piece that was so surprising to, to yeah. put it together, it cinches everything in. I don't look like Nurse Ratchet anymore. Yes, <laughs> exactly, which it can. It yeah. can absolutely do. Little yeah. pattern shoe. I'm coveting those shoes. I wish I got them now, Carla. But wait a minute, there's there's more. I just bought, a, they're half size too big, too small. Too small. Carla, oh, Carla. Yes? Have you walked in them for more than an hour before you bought the other two pairs, darling? No, but I've got a shoe stretch. And I did the yellow and they're just fine now. It's about the penetration of the foot onto the shoe and the comfort level. Oh, to be beautiful, one must suffer, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee for you that these will be short lunch shoes. Probably. They are stunning and I, I think I love the pattern of them. And I think the pattern's gonna go very well with the coat. I want you to throw it all on now so we can talk about both outfits. This color to me will just send all the yellow into the stratosphere. This Millie, fantastic. And I don't usually do black with yellow. I don't like to look like a bumblebee, but if it's just little touches, little bits here and there. The coat has the black button, which allows for that extra bit of black somewhere else, Carla. That's right. I've done the opposite of you, which could be an element of where you're heading in the tailoring states. The coat over yellow, over yellow, over yellow. And these are yellows I got in all different stages of Zara. So the coat is obviously Prada, but the shirt I got one year from um, Zara. And it's a tiny bit different in its yellowness to the trousers. So I leave the pussycat bow to hang on my trouser to sort of incorporate the color. These are trousers, they were long and I took them up to be that perfect ankle crop. And then I've got the coat 
with the jacket underneath and the jacket poking out. Because for me, Carla, a three quarter length sleeve is not my best sleeve, but with this gradation of the sleeves from the kind of color gradation, it works and it sort of elongates my arm again. And I love the this slight variation of the yellows. You know, a lot of people are think that it's a clash when the colors don't match exactly. And it, the actual, the gradation, it lengthens your body. Wow. Yeah, exactly. And then, the, and then the brightness of the, of the top piece creates that column down the center. We do love this yellow. Jemima, we're going to take another question from you. We would actually love to know the piece that you regret buying. Oh yes, you know what it is? I know exactly what it is because I look like a librarian every time I put it on. Shape-wise, I don't think that this Gucci yellow, it, the color that killed me, I purchased it immediately. It doesn't give me enough umph because it's not next to my face. If you're going to splurge on a color you adore that looks good on you, make sure that it sits next to your neck, not on your butt. But with that, I would team it with this color top. And I don't know if you have something like it, but that really amazing fuchsia. I can see that. That would actually work very well. My issue is the length. It's not midi. It's knee length. Remove it from your life. Right? Shall I show you what I regret buying the most yes. and actually has gone on my sale rail? Yes. This is something that I was so in love with, Carla, because as I said to you earlier, I um, always wear things that I make capes. So when I got this Comme de Gasson moment, this is a white oh. cape, but it has sequin. Oh. And then it's got a section where your arms go through. It's very complicated. So it's really to be worn just as this piece. But as I'm... This has more merit, actually. I know what the piece is I shouldn't have bought. I know what it is. I know what it is. Ah, this I like. This is my most insane fucking purchase. This really, Carla, this is my Balenciaga catwalk cape, which Batman would be better off having. And it doesn't even have any armholes, okay? It's like there's a zip, like you should be in a goddamn cocoon and have no life like you, you know, just. <laughs> so this is something I most regret buying. I was had this moment where I hadn't been shopping for a while and you know, when you haven't shopped for a while and you have this desperate urge to go and buy something gorgeous, but I couldn't go in at the deep end and go back into Prada because I felt I'm saving, saving. So somebody said to me, Trini, you haven't done a shop up in TK Maxx. And I thought, it's TK Maxx. Let me find the most outlandish designer item. So this $4,000 bloody plastic Balenciaga catwalk piece ended up at TK Maxx still for $600. And I bought it. I mean, maybe I should just make it my London rain jacket. I think you should put slits in the arms. You should fold over one side over the other. You should to get a big cummerbund. Yeah, and do like a kimono belt belt thing. I could do that. Yes, you could. A lot of people think I shouldn't have bought, but I bloody well love my Prada rain hat. And I said, look, I'm going to keep it because it's like a rain hat. But oddly, with the Balenciaga plastic, you know. You cannot do that with the rain hat. <laughs> Step away from the rain hat. <laughs> All right, what was, now Jemima was asking us a question about something. So where were you heading, Jemima? The, now, yeah. can we see the thing that you love so much that you keep buying it? I know what it is. How many opera, floral opera coats does one need, right? These are two of the many. Carla! What? Do you go to the opera? I do not. I don't know where I'm wearing these, but anything that looks like some sort of some powder room in somebody's house i cannot if it looks like wallpaper i must purchase who is buying a fully down quilted jacket in dallas texas i would buy that in a flash it's magnificent how do you wear it oh this is fantastic with everything with jeans and it's and it's reversible so if there's a downpour i got it in the nylon what are you talking about this, I'm going to put it on right now. Okay, I'm just doing a bit of Millie as well, actually. With this vampire's wife, I want to have Millie, but I'm going to ma match Millie, which I haven't done before. Millie and Maddie, and I was going to see how that looks to get that really soft pink that's in this dress. 
Um, so, darling, let's see your start up because you're not going to the opera, but you've got ready for us beautifully. So take me through the outfit. Okay, so this is my not going to the opera opera look if it happens yeah. to snow in Dallas. The electric blue cowboy boots. We've got the Cecily Bonson obsession, okay? Yeah. And for me, this is just, right? And, yeah. And I, and I hate to tell her... But I love her so much, and she doesn't do print and pattern. Mm, so and you I had them the made. And I have them made for, like, I do one pattern, and I pay for the pattern. And the pattern is maybe $250. And then I go and I buy fun fabrics, and I have them cut and sewn, and yay. You get a whole yeah. bunch. It's a great way, too, because I think sometimes a designer has a vision for the shape of a piece of clothing and what fabric should be used to create that dress. And the shape of that piece of clothing really suits you. So if I look at Vampire's Wife and my mutual obsession with the shape of her dresses, it's the only designer that cuts exactly for my body shape, which is quite a long body, and it's not cut on the bias and it's straight down, it broadens my shoulders. I would love nothing more than for Susie to make these in all like a beautiful navy blue something and something else and i don't know if she will one of my favorite things to lean on in terms of tricks when i'm going to something less expensive a raincoat raincoats they do this is a ganny look how fantastic this raincoat is yeah i think it was two hundred dollars and they come out with the most beautiful colors and fabrics and also i believe that the the shapes are right. It has that slight A-lineness. What you love about the opera coat shape. Exactly. It's light yeah. and it's billowy. And you you should buy it a size up. A little more voluminous. The Ganny is really gorgeous, I have to say. I was going to suggest also that yeah. sort of beautiful embroidered coat. And I got this yeah. from ASOS. And mm. they have them a bit. Not so A-line as yours. But that would be because this would be... 80 pounds compared to 200 Ganny. Because I would say Ganny is what I call high-end, high street. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you know, less expensive designer. But this is really more high street um, price point. Absolutely. Yeah. And I find yeah. that if you're going high street and you want it to look richer, buy a size up. Such a good point. Yeah. 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 Darling, I've loved talking to you. It's been such a dream and a revelation and amazing information. But just, just to meet, you know, Sister by another mother, really. Yes, <laughs> I feel the same way. So I feel it's enough for this week, but I want to do your jewelry next. Absolutely, let's go. Can do that? Okay, so we will do another film with Carla where we're going to discuss her incredible jewelry collection and what inspires her because you have some fantastic pieces, Carla. So I can't thank you enough for coming on the show. Big kiss. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Loved it. And thank you everybody for watching and put your comments and questions below. Subscribe to the channel.